They say caring is sharing, so if you're developing any kind of modules or scripts, it's good to share them with your colleagues. Now, in order to share this, you can do it in a number of ways, but we're going to demonstrate first the easiest one, which is to share them via a file share. Now, sharing in this case only requires a file share, a name of a file share, and to simply register the repository in your PowerShell terminal. This can be done uh, easily enough, and as you can see, it's a relatively straightforward process with only a minimal prompt to uh, load the latest version of uh, Nugeti in order to run. Now, it can't be said that this doesn't come without some downsides. So, what's the downside? Um, well, as an example, the file share is kind of an issue when you have remotely logged into a machine. So here we're going to create a session to our PC2, effectively try to register the same repository, and you'll see what I mean. What you get is a response telling you that you do not have access to that network share on the remote machine, because you're connecting across using your current credentials, not creating a new session on the remote machine. So this can be a little of a problem or an annoyance when you're trying to use file shares like this. I mean, ultimately we can just go and log on to the machine, but it's not the best option. So let's look at our alternatives. How about HTTP Nougaty? So rather than create the Nougaty server from scratch, and there are many, many ways of going about this, um, I'm going to go ahead and create one using a Docker image. So I'm just going to go get the IP address. I'm going to later create a DNS record for that so that I don't need to remember the name. And I'm going to go ahead and load up a simple Nugget image. So nothing super complicated. And then I'm just going to run it on port 5000. Now, since I will be authenticating over HTTP, I do need at least a key in order to make sure that only I or authorized people can upload. I can change this key at a later date if I need to. But for the moment, let's just go with the one that I just created. So I'm going to go ahead and put that into my docker run variable and uh, start up the image. Once that's done, I'll simply hop over to my original servers for demo purposes and register a HTTP version of the repository. Obviously this works a lot better if you don't make some typos, um, in which case this would have worked first time round. But anyway, <laughs> overlooking the typo, um, we'll, we'll just go ahead and prove that it's up and running on Docker and then go ahead and create our repositories. So here you see we're basically doing exactly the same. I don't need that key yet to create the repository as it's just a case of entering it in and the key only comes when I'm uploading. So at this point you can see it was dead simple to create the repository. I can now go and enter a PS session to the other server and prove that I can do the same without the error that we saw for the LAN version. So now with the repositories in place, let's go ahead and download a module and then upload it to our internal repository. So in this case, I'm going to take the liberty of having already downloaded one from PS Gallery, the SQL Server module. And I'm going to go ahead and just simply upload that to our new internal um, repository. So it's a simple enough task of just putting in again the server with the uh, key that we generated earlier. So the um, special uh, <laughs> GUID. Uh, please bear with me, I'm a little bit ill today. And as you can see, those files happily start uploading. So I, I included the verbose because we wanted to check that you know, we can see where it's uploading to, and in this case, it's the Nugeti server that I created earlier. So we're not uploading back to PS Gallery or something like that, or to the file share that we created earlier. And that concludes it for this demo. Now, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. And as always, subscribe for more content.